so now we are starting with immunology and as the name suggests the study of immune system is termed as immunology okay this you are like uh, reading and studying up since your childhood okay so immunology so first of all what is the definition of immunity what is the definition of immunity definition is resistance offered by the host against offenders okay the resistance offers by the body against the offenders and what these offenders are guys these can be anything they can be like uh, any sort of pollen grains it can be any sort of chemicals microorganisms all these are termed as what offenders of yours so this is what is immunity is the resistance offered by the host against the offenders that is what is termed as what immunity fine the next question comes that immunity of actually how many types so broadly you can classify it into innate and acquired okay some things which we get from our parents okay that is the constitutional makeup that comes in what innate immunity and the things we acquire in life that you grow up you study well then you get into mbbs okay so these things you have acquired up and then you do md fine so these is acquired the same thing happens here the innate immunity is based on constitutional makeup of yours and the acquired one is the one which you have acquired through the hard work okay you have to do the things for it to achieve okay now what is the difference between innate and acquired immunity what is the basic difference between innate and acquired immunity and this is very true that innate is from your birth and it is due to your constitutional makeup yes or no and in this you remember these three alphabets that is s i r means to which species you belongs to that is being taken care by this innate stuff to which individual parents you belongs to and to which race you belongs to these three things they determine your innate immunity means the species the individual parents okay and the race so basically innate immunity is based on what sir okay not me species individual and race is it fine so in the exam also if you focus upon these three things you will able to write up lot of things regarding the innate stuff fine then this thing will help you that four things mainly they are the part of acquired immunity that is b cell t cell antigen presenting cell and classical complement pathway okay classical complement pathway so one is b cell one is t cell one is antigen presenting cell and one is what classical complement pathway these four they are the part of what acquired immunity and rest of all other things they are the part of what innate immunity so half of your problems are solved here itself that most of the things they are part of what innate immunity and very less things they are the part of what acquired immunity fine means if we name some like the recent question is nk cells natural killer cells they are the part of so answer to this question is they are the part of innate immunity okay natural killer cells is a part of what innate immunity and if we talk about that which all other things are there in the innate immunity so let me tell you in this these phagocytes also come okay so some things are shared between innate and acquired also it is not so like uh, they are uh, like if i say that b t and antigen presenting cell these are only part of it some things are shared also fine so the phagocytes 
they are said to be a part of innate also and alternate complement pathway as we know that that side what is there the classical one and in this side you have the alternate complement pathway which is a part of innate immunity can come as a question okay then number of acute phase reactants number of acute phase reactants which release of like in the inflammation and all like crp and all that they all are part of what your innate immunity even your normal residential flora even your normal residential flora that is also a part of what innate immunity fine so right from your skin mucosal barriers okay inside the mouth the saliva okay then you go deep inside all those things which is your natural barrier is a part of what innate immunity and in total if you're confused at the what is a part of this and what is a part of that just remember uh, four things are the part of acquired immunity one is b cell one is t cell one is antigen presenting cell and one is classical complement pathway okay rest of all others are what they are the part of innate immunity is it fine now in this you need to know certain different different things like in the acquired immunity you should know certain important entities like what is the example of natural active immunity okay what is example of natural active immunity then comes natural passive immunity okay natural active natural passive artificial active artificial passive okay artificial active artificial passive okay so like this you can write off the natural active natural passive artificial active artificial passive okay examples of them so the example of a natural active immunity is any sort of infection like if somebody develops up any sort of infection viral infection and all so against that those antibodies are produced that is natural and active natural and passive that the body have not done anything that is passive and it is through the natural way a gift and the gift can be given in the nature by the mother so the immunoglobulins which transfers from the mother to the newborn through the placenta those gifts of immunoglobulins is a part of natural process and uh, newborn have not done anything for getting them obviously that is part of uh, mother at that time and gets through the placenta these particular immunoglobulins so that is termed as natural passive then comes artificial active artificial active is artificial way and the body have to work against it and example of this is vaccine example of this is what guys vaccine okay so covid vaccines you must have taken all so you have taken a uh, agent against that the body have to work and produce antibodies against the spike protein which is being induced into you with the help of uh, some uh, chimpanzee adenovirus and the body have produced what against it the anti spike antibodies so that is also one of the points then comes the artificial passive stuff artificial passive means it is being uh, like given up and the body have not done anything so this is obviously the story of today ready made things and the ready made immunoglobulins is a classical example of what is a classical example of artificial passive immunity it's a classical example of what artificial passive immunity and this is what this is ready made immunoglobulins are there in that so artificial active is vaccine artificial passive is ready made immunoglobulins natural passive is mother to newborn and natural active is infection i suppose this is clear and they will be asked in the exam also and they can be asked in your prof exam also okay so that also is an important entity to be taken care of okay